Hello, welcome to the class of Wireshark. Today we will learn how to filter out the ICMP packets. So for filter, filtering out the ICMP packets, first of all, we have to go to capture option. And then we have to select the particular adapter on which we are connected. Next to it, here we have to mention the capture filter. As we want to only filter out ICMP packets, so we have to write here ICMP. So after analyzing these few options, next week we have to click over to the start option. So capturing of ICMP packets will start. So as you seeing here, there is no package related to ICMP. So to bring these ICMP packets here, we have to run some ping commands. So open your command prompt and here you have to write some ping command first of all i am going to ping the google website so as i click over it so now you can see here it starts showing some request and reply message of icmp and same way if i run some run another command that is ping www.yahoo.com as i click over the enter so next it start giving reply and request message of icmp related to the yahoo and if i write here some ping command related to any randomly ip any randomly ip address and as i click over to enter so here it starts showing the request timeout so as it doesn't find this ip address or the system of the ip address so here it's showing the request timeout it means there is no reply coming from this ip address so as close to it start analyzing these icmp packets so as this first packet is communicating with our device is communicating with some ip address so this ip address belongs to website of google and here it's showing us the request reply message request reply request reply so it means here it's showing that it's giving some request and reply message related to the www.google.com so we have here it sends the four packet related to it. you can analyze from here so as here to google.com it sends the four packet that is reply from this reply from this and here it's mentioned the da uh, bytes data how many bytes contained in the data that is sent between these two systems and there how much time is taken by these uh, ping, ping command to goes to this uh, uh, this particular IP address and then the TTL that is time to leave how many intermediate soap it can cover to reach the uh, reach to our system so this is the information which is contained in this ping command After, so you can see here here are four reply message to the four requests so here same here it's have four request message and same to it there are four reply messages and same way if we are going to analyze the another packet which we run for the yahoo.com ping command for yahoo.com here it's showing its ip address and same way it's showing its request and reply messages and at last when we ping this command ping this ip address it's showing the request timeout so from here we can see that here it shows the only request request messages there is no reply message because there is no reply coming from this particular ip address and further you can also filter out it as based upon its location sorry based upon its type as you want only filter out the request message you can type as it and you can click over to the apply so it's only showing us the echo ping request messages so these are all request messages that we send here so from you after opening this expanding this icmp packet you can analyze from here 
the type of this command so this type belongs to it e-coping request and you can also make is that column click over it and apply as column so here you can see that these all commands are related to the type 8 and if you want to filter out the re reply messages so you have to write here 0 and click over to the apply so here it's showing the reply message related to the type 0 so these all are the reply messages for from google website and from yahoo website so this is how we can filter out the icmp packets thank you